Ah. You all right, mate? Oh, hi, Izzy. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm all right. I'm just having to deal with this afternoon rush. But there's no one in front of us. What happened to the agency staff? Well, it didn't turn up, did it? So you're on your own? Aye. I'll be all right, though, once it all dies down. Right, you get out there, get the orders under control. I'll take over in here. Look, I, I'm not too sure your grand would be happy about that. Look, she asked me to check if you were OK. Really? Thought you two weren't speaking. Look, we can waste more time and lose more customers, or we can get all this under control. What do you think my grand would prefer? Um, right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fair enough. You have made a lot of people very happy. <laughs> Any more orders? No, there's only one table left and they're on dessert. All quiet now until the evening rush. Ah, uh, well, that's not my problem. and That's just being shift. Listen, if it's all calmed down out there, I should get going. All right, thanks a lot. So you and, um, you and your gran, you've uh, sorted things, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Because uh, I don't envy you being on the wrong side of her. She's quite a lady. <laughs> you don't happen to know what kind of chocolate she likes, do you? Sorry? Uh, you know, I'd just like to thank her for everything she's done for me. Yeah, I'm not sure. Sorry. I really should get off. What are you doing in my kitchen? How dare you go behind my back? This is my business. A business you're running into the ground. I beg your pardon. Well, get an agency staff in instead of me and Al. You forgive me if I don't take business advice from a money launderer. Grant. Um, maybe I should leave you both to it. What's the matter? Ashamed for Stu to know what you really are? That's between you and me. No, no. He works here. He's entitled to know the criminal you have become. Fair enough. At least I didn't hang him out to dry. What do you mean by that? Well, you left him here on his own. He's new. He can't cope like you can. If he is struggling, he can ask for help. <laughs> well, he's not going to admit weakness in front of you now, is he? Well, why not? Well, are you blind? He's desperate to impress you. I don't know what you are talking about. This is not about Stu. No. This is about you putting this stupid feud ahead of the family business. Now, this used to be a family business. Now it's just a business. Excuse me. Everything OK? Not really. Right. That's me off, then. I'll uh, see you back at the ranch. OK. Look, I... I know I shouldn't have let him help. I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I mean, if I'd have known about his money laundering... It's not the kind of thing one shouts from the rooftops. Yeah, I suppose not. It's just that... I shouldn't have interfered. But I, I just thought, well... If I let him lend a hand, it might build bridges or something. It takes more than a few entrees to do that. Hmm. You know, I've had my fair share of family strife over the years. Hmm. I, I'm not an expert. Far from it. But I do know the power of a friendly ear. Ooh, you volunteering yours? Well, I'm only friendly in my left one. This right one's a vicious one. <laughs> You know, you have a nap time with me over a cup of tea and all your problems will disappear like hmm. magic. Poof. Hmm. I'd... I'd better get on. Oh, um... Yeah, yeah, OK. I'll, I'll see you later. Right. 